What up, YouTube? So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to use these G drives, the G USB drives, on Windows. And it's kind of tricky, so uh, I thought I'd make a video to uh, help anyone out that's uh, having an issue. And basically, what it'll do is what we want to do is I got a 10 terabyte um, G USB drive, as you can see right there. Well, that's actually a 2 terabyte one, but it's the same thing. So, this is just the exact same version, but this will work for any G drive that you want to use on Windows. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. First thing you want to do is hook it up to your Windows computer. And if you're having the issue that uh, I had, it's not like a normal hard drive where you can just plug it in and it's just going to pop right up. You don't do that because this is formatted for Apple because they mainly use these on Apples. And the instructions that it comes with are not very good either. It just says, go to our website for support. And then it's like really tricky. So I thought I'd make a video try and help some people out and then for this particular one you do have to plug in the power of course plugged in the power so then we're gonna turn on the power and then we're gonna plug this bad boy in and preferably if you have any of these blue USBs since this is a 3.0 USB you're gonna want to plug it in to one of these that's the SS super speed Superman the super blue you want that super blue drive okay and then it's gonna come up um, since I've already plugged this one in uh, a little while ago uh, it's gonna come up and be like hey we're installing this software for your driver and then you'd think you'd be able to go to computer and it would just pop right up but guess what it doesn't because this hard drive doesn't have anything on it and it's not listed here so what do you do now to fix that well that's what I'm gonna show you so what you do is you exit out of this you go to your control panel and I'm on Windows 7 by the way should have mentioned that at the beginning but go to control panel and then we're gonna wanna click on administrative so type up here in the search add This mother trucker. Admin. <gasps> Look, AD. Administrative tools. That's what we want, baby. <gasps> then what are we going to click on? We're going to click on computer management. And then this window is going to pop up for us. And then what are we going to click on? Disk management. Oh, nope, nope, nope. We're going to click on storage. I haven't done it that many times, but I know how to do it, baby. Just hang with me. And then we're going to click on disk management. And then we can see all the different hard drives that I have on this computer, including external hard drives. And when you do this, what I'm about to tell you to do, you're going to want to make sure that you're paying attention right now because you can really fuck up some shit if you do this wrong so just follow my instructions very carefully so this is a 10 terabyte hard drive so as we see right here this is that hard drive and it's actually closer to 9 terabytes if you round so those motherfuckers apparently don't know how to do math but anyway and then you're gonna you see that listed up here you're gonna go down here and you're gonna find it and we can see right there that this is disk 2 it's on disk 2 this is very very important so make sure that you have know what disk that your G drive is hooked into this is super super important I cannot reiterate that enough to you guys so for me, it's going to be disk 2. See, because I have a 6 terabyte hard drive hooked up on disk 1. And if I was to type in disk 1 or any other disk that was wrong, it's going to reformat it and it's going to delete all the files on that disk. So I would lose, since this F 6 terabyte hard drive is almost full, I'd lose 6 
terabytes of files, which is all like video footage that I need for my other YouTube channel. So anyway, the disc that it's on for me is disc two. And it's probably gonna be different for you, but that's okay. So remember this, disc two, disc two, write it on your hand if you have to. Okay, so after you figure out what disc your uh, hard drive is under, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go click on the start and then you're gonna wanna type in CMD, CMD. And then this is gonna come up. You're gonna right click, run as administrator. Do you wanna allow this to work? You click yes. Alrighty, then this is gonna come up. Don't get scared, it's not too hard, but you do want to uh, do everything just as I do, except you're probably gonna have a different disk number. And it's very important you type in the right disk number. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is type in disk part. D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. And then we're gonna wanna click enter. Okay, then the next thing we're gonna wanna type in is select space disk. Next, you're gonna type in the disk number that we looked up earlier. Very, very important that you type in the right number. For me, it's gonna be disk two. For you, it's probably gonna be different. This is very important. Two, press enter. Okay, the next thing that we're going to want to do is type in clean. C L A or C L E A N. Clean. Press enter. The next thing that we're going to want to type in is exit. Enter. And then we're going to want to click the X in the corner. Then we're going to go back to administrative tools again. Go to computer, or not computer, control panel. Control panel. And then we're going to want to type in A. Got to click it again for some reason. D. And then administrative tools, baby. And then we'll go to computer management. Then this is gonna pop up. And then we're gonna go to disk management. Oh, then this screen pops up. Then now what do we do? Okay, okay. So if your terabyte or er, if your external hard drive is over two terabytes. You're going to want to select this. Mine is a 10 terabyte hard drive. That is obviously over two terabytes. So I'm selecting this. But then I'm not, if I do do it this way, um, I'm not going to be able to open it on a Mac. But if it's over two terabytes, it's only going to let you use two terabytes of it. So if your external hard drive is under two terabytes or 2,000 gigabytes. If it's under that, smaller than 2,000 gigabytes slash two terabyte, select this. Bigger than 2,000 gigabytes or two terabytes, select this. Press OK. Alrighty. Now it's unallocated. So we're gonna go down to disk two, right click, new simple volume. Click that, then we're gonna click next. This is how much storage I'm gonna have, close to 10 freaking terabytes, which is gonna be awesome. Click next. And it says, assign the following letter just leave that the same because it could mess it up if you use a different one click next all righty so we got floor mat this volume with the following settings default performance quick to do click next 
Click finish. Alrighty, it's floor matting it. We did it! We did it, guys! Oh my gosh, we did it! You can now put stuff on your G drive. So I'm gonna dump this folder in there. And it works. It freaking works. Now I'm gonna cancel that because I really didn't want to do that. So excited, then go to computer. 10 freaking terabytes, actually nine terabytes. I don't know why they advertise it as 10 terabytes, but they do. So yeah. Hey, if you guys like this video and it helped you out, make sure to like, comment, and definitely subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And uh, yeah. Thank you for letting me show you how to do this. Because it was really hard for me the first time too. Because their instructions freaking suck at G USB G Drive. To do that one or one of these big boys. Yeah, I got one of the big boys. Alrighty, thanks guys. Please do subscribe. Peace.